Hello, welcome to Business Unusual. I'm here with Thomas Riedel today. Uh, thank you, Thomas, for taking the time to be with us. I imagine the last few weeks, months have been stressful for you. Well, uh, hello uh, from my end. Uh, well, not that much stressful. I have to say that that uh, uh, I kind of enjoy how how the whole world slows down. Personally, I can I I feel very good about it. I mean, talking about the business, that's a complete different story. And the amount of work I do these days is probably also more than uh, more than ever, but in a complete different way. Where are you at the moment, Germany? A few weeks ahead of us in the UK here, and. Uh... I thought kind of opening back up now. So are you, are you going into the office more regularly now? Yes, I, I do go in the office. I mean, my home is only five minutes away from the office, so that's easy. Um, and, and I also enjoy being in the office, even so only a few people are in the company. But I like to be with the gear, with, with the people which are there. Currently, I'm not in the office. In fact, I'm in the Netherlands. I'm, I'm visiting a friend, and uh, uh, that's why I'm also using the virtual entrance area of, of, of our main facility. Is, that, is this one of the first times you've been able to get out of the country? Is that quite nice to sort of make a break? In, in, in fact, it is. In fact, it is. The last trip I did was to Melbourne for the first Formula One race, which finally got cancelled. Since I went back to Germany, I, I completely stayed in Germany and didn't go out of the country. So now I'm in Rotterdam, where, uh, well, a few weeks back, there should have been the Eurovision Song Contest, which uh, didn't happen for obvious reasons. You've got 700 plus employees at Redel, so that must be quite a mammoth task to uh, to manage all remotely. Um, you're traveling a lot anyway, so is this something that you're well accustomed to? Do you just continue to run the cogs as if you always kind of did? Well, on one hand, I'm, I'm certainly running things like normal, but there's also lots of things which are not normal at all because connecting to people is, is, is different now. Uh, what we have invented, for instance, is like virtual uh, visits of our offices. So basically, uh, within two or three days, I, I went uh, to all our uh, 24 locations worldwide. While usually you have your calls with like on the management level, you might have sales meetings. This time I just said, well, I'm going, like let's say I'm going to the Sydney office and everyone who is located in the Sydney office from the company is welcome to join that call, uh, no matter what they do. Uh, and I did that with all the offices, which I felt was was extremely uh, uh, was extremely well received. And I also can say for myself, the amount of information and feelings I could uh, gather there that was really good. And I definitely will keep that format even after that crisis. Why not adopt the best of both worlds if we can now? And we're we're getting more familiar with doing some of these things. Um, so yeah, I mean, for for you as a company, many people. They've seen their business kind of dwindle in many respects, or some quite quickly in a very short amount of time. But I mean, communications, intercoms, things like this, they, they kind of take on a renewed importance throughout all of this. The topic of communications has become even more important. It was already, I believe, uh, but, but now uh, basically everything works remotely. Everyone talks about remote productions. And if you want to do these things remotely, then communications, so intercom uh, is really crucial. Um, so we definitely see that the importance of that topic communication systems has, has become even, even yeah, more important. But also on the video end, which is one of the things we, we work in, uh, because we, we see communications in a wider sense, not just voice, but really also audio video. Also on that end, we see that the acquisition we did of Embryonics end of last year was exactly the right thing to do because these guys have the solution for remote connectivity for audio and video. So it looks like we had a, a certain sense what's needed in the market this year. Let's talk about Embryonics recently. It was it was back at the beginning of the year that, that you announced the acquisition. So I, I presume you would have been wanting to really get that, drive that message home to people quite quickly in the first half of the year about the acquisition and your plans for the company. All of the trade shows have been cancelled throughout this year. How have you been managing to communicate with, with your partners and your clients? Well, first of all, I'm very happy that we could make use of the time and even speed up the integration of the new team. So Embryonics, which is now Riedel Montreal, uh, is really fully integrated and uh, we can see already say it feels like one family already which is really good. Also on the product end, there's lots of progress. And uh, uh, yeah, you know, that's one of the good things also on, on, on the situation right now. You can focus much more on certain things. So the development side 
uh, in some areas is even doing going going better and quicker. Um, now, absolutely, communications, how do people learn about the products is one of the challenges. And this also became digital now. So we are doing lots of different things here. There's a real academy, how we call it. And that is certainly interesting, was interesting for me to learn. It's like how many people use that. And we have created with that uh, not only a great uh, channel to the market, but also uh, we had as many leads as we, as we would normally create uh, uh, from an NAB show uh, via the digital channel. Uh, uh, and also interesting, about 70% of, uh, of our leads we create at NAB are typically new clients. And also in this new format, about 70% are new clients. I mean, that's probably an in interesting intel that really it works very, very well. And it certainly triggers certain discussions whether, whether or not in the future you do these kind of trade shows or not. I mean, certainly NAB and IBC are, are, are shows we all love to do and we will do in the future. But maybe we will replace some of the others and go more digital. You can't replicate that face-to-face -face kind of relationship, will you? So presumably, even if they're successful, none of these digital initiatives will really replace the traditional kind of format. I mean, I mean, if you ask me what I'm missing the most in general uh, now, then it is the direct interaction with people. Uh, um, it's great to have these video calls. It's great to connect uh, uh, across the ocean just via, uh, via the internet. Uh, and and it's, it's quick, it's instant. Um, you, you save so much time. It's good for the environment if we don't travel. Uh, so this is all fantastic. But I also like to deal with people. And uh, uh, people, it's about emotions and face-to-face and -face meetings are really required for that. Um, and I very much hope that very soon we can do that again. And in the future, I think it is about the right kind of hybrid. We need to always find the right balance. Uh, and uh, I think that's what we learn these days. So one other aspect of your, a big aspect of your business has been these large scale events like uh, partnering with the Formula One, uh, Red Bull, all of those kind of things. And they've all been postponed over the last few months. I mean, obviously for the business numbers, uh, for the immediate uh, uh, numbers, this is not good. Uh, we struggle as much as everyone else. Uh, thank goodness we are a really, really healthy company, so we can cope with that, we can uh, survive it. Uh, and really manage the situation. And also good that most of the four months are really postponed and not canceled. I mean, Formula One starts again in July. A DTM, which is German touring car, also starts in July again. Things like Olympics, uh, they happen next year instead of this year. So only the revenue and the business is, uh, is postponed. So I would say overall it's okay. Uh, even so, it is uh, difficult to bridge the time. But I don't want to complain about that because these kind of uh, challenges we have in the whole world, not, our, not only in Riedel, not only in our industry, but everyone has that. And I think we should be rather positive about the fact that we can survive this, that we can go through this and that we make the best use of the time. Uh, um, you know, I'm a very positive thinking person and uh, I, I rather think of new innovations which I can do uh, in that time frame and, and think of how can we help coping with the situation. Have you learned anything about your company, the way, not just the outside landscape, but the way your company functions and, and the way it puts together that's, that's made you rethink the way you might do things? Well, something I knew, but I've, I've learned in a different way is the big solidarity in the company, how people stick together, how everyone is willing to push and to work to get over this. That is something which is, uh, to be honest, is quite touching. Uh, um, to, to really see that, uh, this solidarity of everyone to say, we have a problem here, yeah, we will get through this together. I knew we have a great team, but I have to say, I'm, I'm even more proud of that whole team now, seeing how everyone managed the situation and how people help each other. And that's probably my biggest finding here. We are happy that that, uh, uh, that whole situation also helps us to show people that we have become not only a communications and voice communications provider, but we are also a true player in the video field now. And that is an area which uh, certainly is pushed a lot by lots of these remote applications. So we are involved now in many projects which we haven't uh, uh, involved with in the past, uh, which is certainly good. And, uh, and 
and we use the time to to do more innovations here. We're having not a bad time, uh, uh, but it is certainly challenging for for everyone privately. But we will get through this, and and we like to to stay in touch like we do here.